There's another billion dollars. There's another billion dollars. We're going to cut back on foreign aid to dictators, terrorists, and multinational bureaucracies and bring the money home. Bring it home. Let's bring it home. We're going to bring the money home. That's how we'll balance the budget. I'll get the Bank of Canada back to its core mandate of low inflation and protecting the purchasing power of our money, a mandate that Brian Mulroney brought in in 1992, to which the bank was faithful for roughly three decades before Justin Trudeau came along. We will stick to Mulroney's vision of low inflation and solid, sound money once again. And there will be no central bank digital currency when I'm Prime Minister. No mandatory digital ID. None of my ministers will be allowed to be involved in any way, shape or form in the World Economic Forum. We will ban the terrorist organization, the IRGC, and send its 700 agents out of our country. We'll bring in a foreign influence registry to identify all of those foreign agents that are paid to manipulate our politics. In other words, we're going to bring home control of our democracy again. Put people back in charge of their lives. Axing the tax, axing the tax, building the homes, fixing the budget, stopping the crime is only, these are only the four key and first pillars, but they underlie the broader principle that guides our future governance. That principle is that a dollar in the hands of the person who earned it is always better than in the hands of the politician who taxed it. The principle is that budgets don't balance themselves, that it requires discipline and focus and value for money to achieve that. That the government is servant and the people are the masters. That, that a government should do a few things right rather than a lot of things poorly. That we should, that, that politicians are not endowed with any special angelic powers. We'll send him to that, that, that politicians are not endowed with any special powers to run your life. That is really the difference in our philosophy with our political adversaries. They believe that they're better at spending your money than you are at yourself, that they should be able to tell you what you should think and you should just do what you're told. They believe that the that there's a small group of especially enlightened and wise and virtuous angels that have a divine right to control everyone else's life. I don't want to run your life. I don't want to run your life. I want to run a government. I don't even want to run the country. 40 million people separately do that. My job is to serve you. The, that's what it means. That's what it means to be a prime minister. Minister means servant. Prime minister means first servant. I will be your servant and not your master because I understand.